Hi everybody, this is Lee of CJ Drill, and today, well, we've got some drill bits here. Now, some of these drill bits probably are very, very familiar to you. And then some other drill bits, like this one here, maybe you're thinking, Leah, what the heck is that for? And you know what? I'm going to tell you today. Now, the reason for this video is because one of the viewers wrote in and she said this. Juju Auntie wrote, I love your tutorials. I have a suggestion. Many of us have a drill and a collection of bits, extensions, and all types of doodads. I have a couple of drill implements in my Milwaukee drill bit kit that I don't exactly know how to use properly. It would be great to hear you explain them. Now, first up are what's called twist bits, and they're very, very common. And these are the kind of household bits I'm sure most of you are familiar with. Now, the first up is a titanium-coated bit. Why is it coated with titanium? Well, it produces less friction, for one, and it stays sharp a lot longer than, a, you know, just a regular common bit. So maybe you're wondering, what do you use this bit for? Well, you know, it's good on wood. It's also good on metal, PVC, and fiberglass. Now the next twist bit up, well, this one has a couple things going for it that are kind of unique. Number one, it's coated in black oxide. So what's that going to do, right? Well, it resists corrosion and it makes it more durable. Now the other thing it's got going for it is the tip. It's a brad tip drill bit. It's called a brad tip. Now what makes this special is, I'm going to pick it up so you can see it a little bit better. It's this tip right there. And I got to tell you, you really want to use this bit for wood, all right? It's not meant for metal. It keeps the bit centered. You know, it starts to drill like a little tiny pilot hole before it really digs in with the rest of the bit. Now, these last two drill bits here, they're just common, common household drill bits. Nothing really special about them. They're just a good general purpose bit. Now next up are four hole cutting bits. Now I'm going to take it one by one so I can tell you what each one is for. Okay, so what we have here is a spade bit. And a spade bit is really used for boring large diameter holes. And it's mostly for construction work. You wouldn't really want to use it for fine woodworking because with this particular bit, you're going to have a little tear out in the back. So next up is the Forgener bit. And this bores large holes as well, just like that, that spade bit I just showed you. But the difference is it's really more for fine woodworking because it's going to create a flat bottom hole that's uh, nice and smooth. And then the other thing with this bit is if you've got to drill through your project, it's going to have a nice clean exit hole unlike the spade bit, because the spade bit is mostly for construction. Okay, so the next bit up is called a hole saw bit. And so you would use this bit if you were installing door hardware or creating a pass-through for wiring, but mostly for door hardware, you know, for deadbolt locks or doorknobs themselves. Okay, next on deck is the step bit. Now, you might not have seen this bit before because you know what? It's an unusual bit that isn't often used, but I wanted to also talk about it. Now, it's coated in titanium, just like the bits that I showed before, and we've already talked about that, so I'm just going to move on to what you use it for. Now, a step bit is primarily used in thin materials like um, metal, a thin metal, or a thin plastic. I guess you could use it for wood, but I'm not certain what you would use it for, but you could. Now, the main feature of this bit are these small steps. And what they're for is it allows you to use one bit to make several different diameter holes. And last, we have three bits have absolutely nothing in common and so we're going to take them one at a time okay so our next drill bit is a masonry bit it's a carbide tip and it's designed to bore into concrete brick and other masonry materials now the one thing that i will say about this i'm going to pick this bit up so you can see the tip of it it has an odd shape tip kind of looks like um an arrow tip now, one of the things that I want to say about this particular bit is this. Now, you can use it in a standard corded or cordless drill. However, you know what? You're going to get the best results if you use a hammer drill or rotary hammer. Okay, so what we have here is a countersink bit. 
And it's a specialty bit. It's for drilling in wood. And so what it does is it allows you to countersink the surface of the material you're working on, that wood, right? So that you can countersink whatever fastener. Okay, so our last bit up is this bit here. And what it is, it's a tile bit, but it's a diamond tile bit. Now on the rim here, I don't know if you can see that or not, the rim of the bit is encrusted with diamond. And then when you move backwards, see those spirals there? That's reverse threads. And what that does it is it continues to feed water to the bit so it stays cool. Now what can you cut with this bit other than tile? Well, you can cut a number of different stone like marble, granite, slate. You can even, you can even cut glass. Now, hopefully you learned a few things that you didn't know. This is Leah saying, you can do this. See you next time.